Francine was born in a small mining town in northern Minnesota called Aurora to her parents, Frank and Sophie. Francine York has been coming to our Cinecon Bank for several years. She has made numerous television and film appearances, and every year it's my honor to talk about how she worked in an Elvis Presley movie, but you know, her career is so much more vast than that because she has continued working all through the years. She has done King of Queens, she's been in soap operas, and she has done some iconic television parts. Most, what is that, Men on the Moon? What, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> She's also, she's been a part of television history in Lost in Space, in one of the iconic shows. She's also a very sweet lady, and she gives up her time and does a lot of charity work. She made many commercials, I have a list, Chrysler, Betty Crocker, Valley Federal Bank, Chevrolet. She starred in her first feature film called Secret File Hollywood, which was premiered in her hometown of Aurora for the whole town to see. And to this day, she says it was the biggest thrill of her life to see the whole town and the press and her parents and grandparents and all of her friends. And that was just the beginning though because she was soon discovered by Jerry Lewis and she appeared in uh, six films, It's Only Money, The Nutty Professor, Family Jewels, The Patsy, The Disorderly Orderly. And her last film in 1982 where she plays a noble woman with a French accent from the 15th century called Cracking Up. She's worked with the likes of Marlon Brando and David Niven. She also did Max Factor cosmetic ads that were shown here and in Europe. Some of her other credits include The Curse of the Swamp Creature, which is now a cult classic, <laughs> Canon for Corboda, Cor George Stevens' The Greatest Story Ever Told, Sergeant Was a Lady for Universal, she starred with Eva Marie Saint and Bob Hope, and as the agricultural student all the men fell in love with on Green Acres. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most important reasons to honor her is because she's a nice person. And we love to talk to her and spend time with her, as most of you do as well. But I want Francine to know something very important. For several years, one of your best friends championed you to get this award. And it was his intention for you to have it. And I want you to know, Francine, please consider this award the last act in Marvin Page's Wonderful life. Thank you. Thank you. Sunset Boulevard, it was like 30 degrees and lower in February, and I got so sick, and I got pneumonia. And they called my parents and they said, I don't think Fancy is going to make it. But I lived. <laughs> because when I was living in San Francisco, it's a long story, I went from Minnesota to San Francisco, to San Francisco and all that, and I saw Rudy Lee shooting the lineup at Coy Tower, and I was an extra. And years later, I went on to do Superstar with uh, Paul Servino on, on, uh, up at Coy Tower. And also, um, I worked as a showgirl in Bimbo's. I was one of those with the big hats and walking, you know, down the stairs. And, um, at Bimbo, and I went back to Bimbo's, and I worked with Carl Malden at Bimbo's, and I made $85 a week there. And here I'm starring with Carl Malden, and it's just been a, a, he said everything about my life. A little girl from Minnesota, how does she do all this? But um, you're right, Stan, uh, I really wouldn't be here because of Marvin, and I truly think that this award, um, I want to say, it's for you, Marvin. All right. Oh, yes. I love you, and I wish you with all my heart. 